नमस्कार एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल ऑफ एस डी एफ एल अगेन लास्ट टाइम वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वर्वल साउंड्स एंड कॉन्जोन एंड साउंड्स एंड देर वर क्वेरीज मेरी टीचर्स कॉल मी दैट शुड वी गो फॉर दिस अगेन स्पेशली द प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ एल्फाबेट्स सो लेट्स गो अबाउट इट अगेन रिमेंबर द प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ एल्फाबेट्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स टू लर्न द रियल प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ एल्फाबेट्स एंड देन दे कैन गो अहेड विद इट If your pronunciation is clearer, they can grasp it the way it should be. Let's go ahead. A. Listen the pronunciation clearly. It is A, not A. There's a difference in A and A. I hope you are getting the difference. B. B. There are two kinds of uh, sounds in English. One is voiced and one is non-voiced. B. is voiced b when the voice comes when you you know a gush of air comes out of the mouth b c the way you speak d it is not like d when you move your tongue inwards actually it is d with the teeth you put your tongue on your upper gum near by your teeth then d then comes e again the same rule follows A you did not use your teeth tongue lips B you use your lips C teeth and tongue D teeth and tongue E no use of teeth tongue and lips F it is quite a soft sound F F G as you normally speak H don't say H say H there must be a H in between that sound H I Again, when you pronounce "I," no use of teeth, tongue, and lips. You are definitely moving your mouth, but no use of teeth, tongue, and lips. That's why "I." Then, J, as normal. K. Listen this sound clearly. It is K. It is not K. It is K. Again, it is a voiced sound. A gush of air coming out of your mouth. K. Then L. L. never ever say yell or l it is l you have to move your tongue inwards l m n o again o no use of teeth tongue and lip vowel then p again just like b p is a voiced sound p q as you speak r Remember there is no r in English it is r r you have to move your tongue back and then you have to say r r and that that impacts a lot on the pronunciation look at this rabbit red radish then comes s and again t just like the sound of d t comes from the same place when you use your tongue in your upper gum t it's not t it's t u i already have explained but again one more time u is a vowel alphabet but the sound of u is vowel when you use it like a or u u in upcoming videos we will be discussing this better v remember v is no alphabet it is v v you use your teeth in the lower lip to pronounce that v then comes w w is actually w so that is w x y simple in z in british english and z in american english so that is all and we are already aware of it now the teeth tongue lips and that's why a e i o you are vowel sounds and that's it for today thank you please give the comments and your feedback in the comment box thanks a lot